what if, to say just as an example, in an open lobby of mine, I decided to tell everyone to be a disgusting, dirty driver? Oh, would you look at that? I've done it. Um, had to tweet it because my mic's broken. But uh, but yeah, let's find out what happens if the entire F1 2020 lobby is full of dirty drivers. Right, hold on to your dignity. This is going to be a very interesting one. Uh, oh, I've been barged already. That didn't go very far before contact. There's a train on the inside. That's not gone well. And I'm in the wall almost immediately. That was all of five seconds before we've had contact with the barriers. Now, obviously, rules are off, so we can totally disregard the first and second corner. Someone else disregarding the corners down the inside. And the Alpha Tauri there has not got his lines. <laughs> He's not got his lines right at all. Now, we do have a significant amount of front wing damage, which is a problem. Um, the good news is that, oh, he's on his side. That's not the good news. The good news is I don't actually have to do any of the corners. So having a lack of downforce is perhaps less of a issue than it would be in normal times. Cars stalling on the grass all over the place. I've got some problem with my uh, tyres by the looks of the bottom right there. Someone moving over on me. I would usually say that's discre- Well, oh, he's taken dirty driving to the extreme there, driving the complete wrong way around the circuit. Can't really be sure of what he was thinking of there. That can't be the way to uh, to maximise lap time. And then someone race over. Race completely over. This guy here is playing an absolute no rules masterclass as he fights for the lead. He's actually P3 at the moment, but, uh, well, someone there doing the final chicane, what a silly mistake from them. <laughs> That'll be P2 for this chap in the Ferrari. He's doing extremely well. He is so good at playing without the rules on, it's starting to look a bit suspect, to be honest with you. I think this guy uh, needs to uh, make sure that he actually has the rules on at some point, because it looks like he's absolutely nailed these tracks. Without the rules. This guy, he's going wheel to wheel with the race leader. He's going to take a nice wide line through there. Now suddenly they've started obeying the track for some reason. They should probably have cut across that, uh, that little, well, it's not really a chicane, but we'll call it one. And then down the inside as he challenges for the lead. This is not at all what I had in mind when I was expecting dirty driving. An absolute masterclass from the Ferrari. I mean, he could have cut that corner a lot more than he did. But, um, but it looks like he's going to win the race. And I'm not satisfied with my performance. So we will be going again. Silverstone then. Rules are still off. Everyone's still trying to be a dirty driver. And this time I remembered to actually jump the start. Because obviously there's no penalties for... Oh! Man alive! I mean, well, there was very little I could have done about that. I mean, it's, it really does smack of irony that I'm sat here complaining about dirty driving, having told everyone to be a dirty driver. Going to make some adjustments because uh, I keep getting wiped out. Um, who'd have thought it? Asking everyone to be a dirty driver. So damage is off, but ghosting is also off for this race in Monaco. Yes, Monaco. It, this is, well, this, it doesn't bear thinking about. Right, this is playing to my strengths if ever I've seen it. Let's jump the start as soon as possible. There we are, five lights, away we go. With no damage, there's no need to break into turn one, so this is going to be pretty cringe. Oh, down the inside of the Williams there, and that's a massive accident. And now I've been caught facing the wrong way, and I'm a, just a total passenger at this point. No hope whatsoever for my race. I'm facing the wrong direction. P7, oh, well, thank you very much for that, whoever that was. That's... Uh, poked me in the right direction, which is ideal stuff. P17, absolute no chance of avoiding the McLaren there as we uh, enter Casino Square. And the no ghosting policy is uh, rather predictably um, causing problems around. My well, that is just dirty driving in the extreme as I'm yeeted down the escape road with very little to say about it. And my response is to just plow into the back of the Haas car there. Uh, as we enter the, <laughs> the hairpin, and now the McLaren's having a bite back there. He's just returned the favour from a few laps ago, and it's all turning pretty farcical at this point because it's now more economical for me to reverse around the track than it is to me actually actually race in the right direction because it's so difficult to turn round before getting hit by someone. And we are <laughs> we're, well, it's all turned pretty ridiculous at this point. P17 still going through the tunnel now. 
and uh, it was, it, there's very little in the way of racing going on. It, it's more just a destruction derby at this point. Uh, well, we'll take no notice of the chicane because uh, you don't need to. And obviously, with no damage, we can tactically use the barriers. So <laughs> it's just cringe to watch because you're just catapulting towards the barriers. But uh, but very effective. This is what the this is what the dirty driver lobby has become. Got to be a bit careful through Raskas because uh, well, just driving straight into the wall there would would be pretty counterproductive. I think you can agree. So we'll cut the first corner. Carry tons of speed into turn one. Too much speed, in fact. And if it wasn't for that Williams turning me round, we would have had more serious problems. So we do need to chill out a bit through turn one. By the looks, I'm gonna try and avoid the uh, Renault there by pile driving round the outside contact with almost every barrier as we go through. Again, someone just cut. Oh my word, there's just a mass pile up in the uh, restricted section. The escape road there, it <laughs> inspired by Nico Rosberg in 2016. And that has caused real problems. Now this hairpin is, uh, is quite regularly a blockade as it was last lap, but we seem to have got away with things this lap. No damage, by the way, on Monaco is just ridiculous. I mean, there is just so much recklessness going on. I mean, I think that's probably the fact that I told everyone to be a dirty driver hasn't helped, in truth. Um, but I'm taking full use of this final sector's barriers. Cut, cut off there by the McLaren whilst I was in full flow, and then the Renault smashes me into a pirouette. So that's, oh dear, the McLaren there has had another, another bad corner, it has to be said. And then someone's just piled me into the wall. Well, th this really is becoming carnage in the extreme. Somehow, despite the fact that I'm the world's worst driver, when I ask everyone else to also be a terrible driver, I'm still just as bad. P17, I'm nowhere. Someone, again, swiping me down the inside. Not what we want. Now there's now there's just another blockade. It's like a blocked sink going up the hill there and into Casino Square. Somehow I've avoided it and managed to get into P14. So that's that's better. Got round that corner for the first time without being absolutely capulted into platform nine and three quarters. Uh, round the hairpin we go and just using all the barriers now. We just need to get and just get this done. I mean, it's someone's already won the race. So how the hell they got so? I've run out of fuel. I've run out of fuel. In all the tomfoolery, I've now run out of fuel with like half a lap to go. It's only a three lap race. How much fuel did they put in? About a kilogram? Well, this is just ridiculous. I'm just a sitting duck to this guy. And how he's not run out of fuel, by the way, I don't know, because he's clearly run a similarly abysmal race. How have I even run out of fuel? Uh, it's probably I was maximising revs whilst in reverse. <laughs> it's, pro it's probably something to do with it. <laughs> oh, for God's sake, it's just been a dick. Well, there we are. So that's the answer. What if everyone in F1 2020 is a dirty driver? That. What you have just witnessed. The previous eight minutes is what that looks like. And, um, well, we've all, we've settled that now, so that's it. We can all go home and, uh, put the kettle on. Well, I say go home, we're all obviously still at home. Because, uh, you can't go anywhere at the moment. Thank you for watching, and goodbye.